are in an emergency. A giant aircraft stands on the tarmac at Marseille in France. It's been taken over by hijackers who are preparing the worst terrorist atrocity the world has so far seen. The men are heavily armed and carrying powerful explosives. The French Prime Minister faces a terrible dilemma. Storm the plane, lose 173 passengers and crew. But let it take off and there'll be an even bigger price to pay. This will become a blueprint for defeating a terrorist hijacking. With eyewitness testimony and video recordings, this is the inside story of the hijacking the world forgot. It's Christmas Eve, 1994. An Air France jet is on final approach to Algiers airport. It's the early morning flight from Paris to this former French colony on the north coast of Africa. The plane is an Airbus A300 with a crew of 12 on board. Three greens. This is no ordinary landing. Algeria is in a state of civil war. The area around the airport has been the scene of fierce fighting. There's a very real threat of missiles being fired at the plane as it comes in to land. The flights to Algiers are only done by volunteers because of the terrorist threat. We're all aware of it. We accept the risk. So dangerous is it that Air France, the French state airline, has asked its government if it really needs to continue these flights to Algiers. So far, there's been no reply. 100 feet. 50 feet, 20 feet. We got press engage. The captain of Air France Flight 8969 is Bernard Delem, a highly experienced pilot. This is his first ever television interview. The events are still so threatening to him that he'll only appear in silhouette. There were some security measures, like on any other flight, and a few extra ones since we were in Algiers. But at my level, I had no qualms about flying there. Even now, ten years later, I can still say that I like doing in Algiers. The plane will only be on the ground for the short time it takes to clean, refuel, and board the passengers for the return flight. They're mostly Algerians, but many are French, escaping for a while the perils of life in Algeria. Three years earlier, Islamic fundamentalists had won the elections there, hoping to install an Islamic state. But then the military seized power and imprisoned their leaders. Since then, Algeria has descended into chaos. Boarding is nearly over, but then... Presidential police, you two take the rear. Another sign of the fraught security situation, police board the plane for one more check. Police, nobody move, please. Presidential police, we're carrying out an identity check. No, you stay here, we'll handle it. It'd be best if I made an announcement. Okay, go ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, good day. This is your captain speaking. There will be a short delay while the police will come to their cabin to carry out a passport check. Please remain seated. We apologize for the inconvenience. We should be on our way shortly. Passport. Passport. When they came towards us, they were armed. And that's really unusual. Passports, please. This unauthorized delay to Flight 8969 is making the military suspicious. Algerian special forces, known as the Ninjas, are already heading towards the plane. I looked outside and I could see the Ninjas out there, the Algerian special forces. 
I said to myself, why are there so many of them? Tarut means infidels. And when he said that, I knew straight away that they were terrorists. There it was. All of you, get to the back! Hurry! Shut that voice of Satan! Sit down! You two, don't move! Nobody move! We are not the police. We are Mujahideen. The men are not police, but terrorists. They belong to a violent group of Muslim extremists. They aim to force an Islamic state on Algeria, no matter what it takes. And seizing the plane is part of that plan. When that happened, it was like a rock falling. Like lead. I don't know which. It was horrifying. Look at this! This is a very powerful bomb! There are others just like it! Ready for a great fireworks show in the sky! We are the Mujahideen of the people! God has chosen us to die, and you to die with us! The leader, 25-year-old Abdul Abdullah Yahya, is a notorious killer. There is nothing to fear! God awaits us all in his heavenly paradise! Outside, news spreads quickly, and reporters arrive at the scene. In Paris, the French Prime Minister is urgently recalled from his Christmas holiday. It's an international crisis. I spent the whole afternoon on the phone trying to find out exactly what was going on. It was pretty confused. The Algerian authorities were determined to get tough, and it was difficult to discuss the problem with them. Give me your jacket, Captain. Back in Algiers, the terrorists decide to put on the flight crew's uniforms to confuse any army snipers. Meanwhile, in the cabin, one of the terrorists is not happy with what he sees. Cover your head! Cover your head more! You too! Their Islamic customs were not being respected. Men and women sharing the same toilets, sitting next to each other and above all, women with their heads uncovered. Unacceptable. Move towards the that back. was intolerable Hurry. for Lotfi, and it threw him Cover into a head. rage. What do you mean? <coughs> now, two hours into the hijacking, the terrorists want to talk to the Algerian military. You're in the tower. We have taken control of this Air France flight. We are the armed Islamic group. Do you hear me? Do you understand? Do you hear me? What is wrong with this thing? They don't hear me. They couldn't hear you because you both talked at the same time. You have to start again. You tell them. Do it. Air France 8969. What do you want me to say? The terrorists order Captain Belem to take off for Paris. They say they're going to hold a press conference there. But the plane can't move. The passenger boarding stairs are still attached and the Algerian authorities have parked vehicles to block the runways. Air France 8969. The passenger boarding stairs are still in place. Please remove them immediately. They meet with a blank time. refusal. Things are starting to go wrong for the hijackers. The Algerian strategy is not to give way on a single point, but it's a dangerous policy, as they are soon to find out. We are going to block the wall! We are going to block the plane and everyone in it! Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Armed terrorists have hijacked an Air France jet at Algiers airport. They want to leave for Paris, but the government won't let them. It's a stalemate, for the moment. I'll say it one more time. Please remove the boarding stairs so that we can leave for Paris. You think we are joking? We will show you how we are joking. We are soldiers of God. We are ready to die. We will show them. The terrorists are about to send a message to the Algerian government. During the passport check, they've identified among the passengers an officer of the Algerian police. 